Today we begin Catholic Schools Week and I'd like to invite our principal up for a few words about Catholic schools. Thank you very much, this is Mrs. Carly Dunphy. Thank you. Good morning. I'm excited to speak with you about an exciting week we have coming up, Catholic Schools Week. Some of you may already know me, and if you don't, my name is Carly Dunphy, and I'm the principal of St. Patrick's School. I see it as a great privilege to serve God in this capacity. I've been in the field of education for 20 years, yet only the past two in a Catholic school, and I can definitely say that I am home. I knew without a doubt that I was being called to Catholic education, my faith is the center of my life and what was becoming more and more challenging for me to authentically teach in an environment and a culture where it was as if God didn't exist. It was also becoming clear that there was an intentional push towards secular and progressive approaches to educational initiatives, trainings, and programs. The fact that nine out of 10 children in the US are educated in public schools, including 88% of Catholics, means that their potential influence is enormous. As Catholic parents, we are the primary educators of our children. And yes, a strong faith being taught and fostered in the home is of the utmost importance. This becomes the strong foundation for which our children can build upon as they navigate the different stages of their life. But it doesn't and can't stop there. As a Catholic school, we invite parents to walk alongside us in the formation of their children. They entrust to us their children, and more importantly, the souls of their children. And this is not something that we take lightly. We recognize the vitally important role that we play in teaching each and every student our beautiful and rich Catholic faith in a way that contributes and builds upon, does not contradict, the foundation values and virtues already established in the home. You see, as Catholics, if we really believe what we say we do, then everything changes. The way we see the world, the way we see others, the way we interact with others, the way we respond to conflict, everything changes. This all happens from knowing and believing without a doubt that God is real. He sent his son Jesus to rescue us and we are here to proclaim that truth to the world with great boldness and conviction. The Catholic worldview and lens with which we see the world as sons and daughters of God is not something that can or should be turned off depending upon our environment or surroundings. We are called to walk in his truth and his light. Since 1974, National Catholic Schools Week has been the annual celebration of Catholic education in the United States. It starts the last Sunday in January and runs all week. The theme for this year is Catholic schools, faith, service, and excellence. As a school, we will observe this annual celebration week with mass, an open house later today, and many other activities for students, families, parishioners, and community members throughout the upcoming week. So as we lead into this very important week for Catholic schools across the country, I would like to share with you what I feel sets Catholic schools apart from other schools, and specifically what makes St. Patrick's School so special. To further expand on the theme for National Catholic Schools Week, Faith, Excellence, and Service, I would like to highlight the way that our school particularly embodies these three important words. First and most important, let's start with faith. All that we do at St. Patrick's School is rooted in our beautiful Catholic faith. Each new school year as a staff, we prayerfully select a theme song and a scripture quote that will lead us throughout our school year. This becomes the rock that we go to and stand upon as a staff and as a school family. This year, our theme is Believe For It. Hearing all 470 of our students sing it at our closing mass each Friday brings tears to my eyes every single week. They sing it with such conviction. This message in the song is very powerful and one that we strive to help all of our students understand. It is about the power of God and the power of our faith in him and what he can do when we just ask and place our trust in him. The message resonates with our students, whether it's in the classroom, on the athletic team, or in family situations. Trials and challenges will come, but no matter the struggle, nothing is too big for our God. At our main entrance is our beautiful chapel where Jesus is every day in the tabernacle. 
This sacred and beautiful space is where our young students have catechesis of the Good Shepherd each week, where classes frequently go to pray, where our staff celebrates weekly mass, and where our grade levels will be celebrating a special weekly mass as well, in addition to our all-school masses on Fridays. It's fitting that our chapel is the first thing you see when you enter our doors, because it is the most important space of our school. Our middle schoolers are learning what it means to be true disciples through two middle school ministry curriculums, Blaze for Our Girls and Why Disciple for the Boys. This year, we offered a beautiful Theology of the Body talk by Jason Everett to all of our seventh and eighth graders, where they were able to hear a message of truth, beauty, and goodness when it comes to God's design and our sexuality. As you already know, conflicting messages around sexuality are very loud in our secular culture right now. And if we are not intentional about speaking truth to our children, these contradicting messages will steal the innocence and the hearts of our kids. Secondly, excellence. We strive for excellence each and every day at St. Patrick's School. Excellence in academics, excellence in character, and excellence in virtue. This does not mean perfection. There is no school that is perfect. However, we continuously reflect upon our practice, our programs, and our initiatives to ensure that where we are headed is aligned with God's mission and vision for our school and toward greater excellence. God wants excellence, and when we turn to him for wisdom and guidance in all things, he provides a path every time. And lastly, service. Christian service is a strong focus at our school. Every single grade level does a service project throughout the school year so that by the time our eighth graders graduate, they have experienced nine different extensive service opportunities. I can speak to the power of the, these experiences with my own children. This past Christmas, our fifth grade classrooms adopted an entire family for Christmas. The day that the project was introduced, my son came home full of excitement, asking to use my phone to look up all of the things he wanted to buy on Amazon for this family. His passion and joy for giving back was beautiful to see. These fifth graders did everything in the process from purchasing, sorting, wrapping all of the gifts to loading everything up to be delivered. Some of them even experienced the family receiving this blessing firsthand and there was not a dry eye. Additionally, our sixth graders write letters to homebound seniors and an elderly gentleman wrote back a profound letter of gratitude expressing the joy he receives from their letters. He included a check for $100 and insisted that the class have a pizza party on him. Finally, every Catholic Schools Week, we participate in an all-school service project, and the one that we have coming up this Wednesday will be amazing. We have partnered with Mott's Children's Hospital and their Cancer Treatment Center. The Mott's team will be coming to our school on Wednesday afternoon for a rosary and an assembly where we will be presenting them with a monetary donation homemade pillowcases for the patients, cards, supplies for their celebration tunnels, supplies for their staff room, and other themed attire for the children and patients to wear. All of our students will be participating in the making of all of these things, along with seeing a video about Mott's Children's Hospital and how what we are doing will have a far-reaching impact. These are experiences and moments that shape the hearts and minds of our students in profound ways. This is what it means to truly be the hands and feet of Jesus and help others come to know his love. In closing, I would like to acknowledge the incredible staff at St. Patrick's School. This school year has been just as challenging as the first year of the pandemic, if not even more so. They have continued to endure the hardships, accommodate the needs of students who return from being sick or in quarantine, navigate the stress of continuously adapting to changing circumstances. At the end of the day, including many of them that are very long, all of this is done for God and for the students. They work tirelessly to form young people, not only to be insightful thinkers and responsible citizens, but more importantly, disciples of Jesus Christ. To form the whole person requires so much more than merely imparting information, as each of you knows well. It requires patience, perseverance, and reverence for the dignity and potential of each and every student. It requires active participation with families in the community, and always it requires a tremendous gift of self. Our staff and our teachers embody all of these qualities and much more. So I invite you to experience the difference. I invite you to partner with us, 
I invite you to our open house later today at the school from 1 to 3 p.m. to see for yourselves what makes St. Patrick Catholic School so unique and so special. Please stop at our welcome desk for a brochure for more information, and we also have invitations to our open house. Thank you, and God bless.